So we're really excited about the support from the governor and the mayor supporting our ability to get back up to the summit and do normal operations. The first thing that our operations group is going to need to do is actually get up there and run all of our systems. We have uh, the telescope, we have our dome shutter, we have hydraulics. All of these things haven't been operational in three weeks, so we need to make sure that they're up and ready to go. We're one of the facilities that remotely operates, so as soon as we know that we've got uh, cameras that are healthy and a building and a telescope that are ready to go, we should be able to resume our science. There is some concern once we do get access to the summit is going back and having to go through every piece of equipment and get it running and make sure that we can be ready for observing. So bringing up to normal operations takes a lot of pieces. We have to get the instrument ready, we have to get the telescope ready, and we have to get the people ready. So getting the instruments ready means in some cases getting them cooled down really, really cold temperatures using liquid nitrogen. That takes hours to days depending on the instruments. We also get, have to get them down to, to vacuum, so we have to put pumps on them to, to get all the air out of that. So that's going to take a couple of days for some of the instruments, but some of the instruments are in a good enough state to, to, to start doing science now. Well, I'm really excited that we've made enough progress to be, be doing some science again. You know, this is, this is not a full return to operations. A full return to operations is going to have complete access to the, to the summit access road basically whenever we need it, and we need to be able to do so safely. But we have enough to do to do limited operations now, and we're really looking forward to, to working with the state to, to regain access to the road to have full operations. But I'm super excited to be doing science again. This is the, the longest the observatory has gone without uh, doing science, and, and we're really, really wanting to get back on sky. Um, my job at Keck Observatory is an observing assistant. The position is a telescope operator. I also assist at nighttime with observations and um, any troubleshooting required. Our job is to be on the summit at night, uh, helping with observations. And not physically being up there means that nothing gets done. It's been somewhat frustrating not to be able to do the job that I uh, was hired to do. I love my work on the summit. Um, I get to see amazing sunsets. I get to be part of amazing discoveries. Um, Mauna Kea is an amazing place, and I, I've loved working on it. I've dreamed working on those telescopes since childhood. So this is. This has been the best job I've ever had. Well, the most important thing I can say to the scientific community is thank you. I realize that this is extremely frustrating to, to not be able to do the science that you've prepared for, in some cases for years or many years. And, and, I, and I know you're eager to get, to get back on sky. We're eager to get back on sky with you. We thank you so much for your, your, your patience and for your support, and, and we're ready to, to start working with you again soon. I want to pass on a big thank you to everyone in the community that's been supporting us throughout not just this period of time, but over decades here in, in Waimea and throughout Hawaii. Um, we can't do what we do without the community's support, and it's, a, it's really important for us to be able to continue to, to bring science back into the community, to continue to be part of this community, and we really look forward to uh, working, to again, uh, working together again soon.